guys, it's Spencer from Wind9 Core Renovations, and today we're actually in the same bathroom that we installed the 12 by 24 floor tile on the floor, and now, as you can see, we're switching over to the walls. So, I've got my shower base already installed, and now we're going to be working on the two walls, and I'm going to show you how that gets done. Alright, so let's get going. except you're applying it vertically. So, number one, when I did the floor tile, I measured out my lines and figured out where all of the pieces were gonna be and how things were gonna look best. So I did the exact same thing with the walls. Um, I measured out where the best pieces are gonna be and the best starting points for this layout. So what I've done in this case is I'm starting full tile off the outside and I'm going to start full tile off the outside here as well, behind me, and work my way into that inside corner. Now, in some cases, you may want to just adjust that pattern a little bit so you have better looking pieces, bigger pieces, uh, but that's all going to depend on the size of area that you're working in. So, as you can see, I have a laser running across that bottom row. Uh, this is a great laser to use, it's the Stabila LAX 300G. Um, it's awesome, it gives me horizontal, vertical, and a plumb. So it's very versatile in uh, these sort of applications. Now, if you're kind of tight on cash or you're not wanting to uh, spend the money on a laser, you can use just a regular level as well to do the same thing. As you can see, I have one here too that I use periodically uh, just to double check with the laser. So. As you can see, this is the pattern, that's what it's going to look like. I'm using the same leveling system that I used on the floor. So it's pretty much exactly the same, except now you're just going vertically. That's about it. One thing to also just watch for as well is check your walls to see if there's any major bumps or divots in the wall. Those you may want to either feather out beforehand or repair them before you get going on the wall. As far as tools, again, I'm using the exact same tools that I used for the floor. So you have your basics, a tape measure, a pencil, a square. In this case, I'm using a laser, but that's more of an optional tool. You're definitely going to want to have just a normal level on you. And as far as the installation, specific tools. I'm using the same uh, half inch by half inch square notch trowel and I'm using the same little cement trowel that I used with the floor as well. When you do your first starter row, make sure you spend some time and focus on that and actually get it leveled off nice and level. That's going to be the basis for the rest of the wall. Um, so if you want to spend some extra time, and make sure that that's perfect. Then, when you start going up the wall, it'll be a very easy installation for you. So, mix up your cement, and what I've done is, and what I always recommend to do, skin coat the wall first. What I'm doing is I'm actually applying the cement directly to the back of the tile with the notches, and I'm just flat troweling the wall. That ensures that you basically prep the surface of the wall. If there's any dust or debris that's kind of laying on the wall, you're already taken care of it by skin coating it uh, with some fresh cement and then when you take your tile and you stick it on the wall it'll ensure that you've got that off. So we're going to continue on this now and I'm going to show you guys what it basically looks like to carry on from this point and work out. Basically this tile is going to come up and go into this 
squat here. So what I'm doing is I put some cement onto my tile and I'm going to trowel this out so that the tile has a nice even coat right across it. So for most of the installation, I really only use the short side of my trowel. I don't really use the long side because as you can see, the trowel is pretty much the width of the tile. And when you use the long side, you can tend to spill some cement over the edges. And once I have pretty much all of my edges covered, I give it a once over and I trowel any excess material off of that tile. Now, I'm going to take the tile, take a couple of my leveling clips, set those clips in place, and then simply just take your tile. I set it a little bit away from the uh, adjacent tile, and slap that on there, and then I slide it up to the tile next to it. Give it a once over, take a couple of your wedges, and click them down. And it's as simple as that. Now, always go back and check that you're straight over on this side, and I am. When you're sliding this tile into the one next to it, there is a chance that that tile that's already installed could slide a little bit. Everything on this wall is fresh, so it could still move slightly. Uh, so just go back and double check that you're still straight with your line. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to do a full tile here and carry out the pattern. Just like you saw in the time lapse, fill in this space as I go up. Now, in this scenario here, we are going to be doing a metal holding on the end. We're not leaving it just exposed. But I always slide those in afterwards. I find that you just get a bit of a cleaner look when you slide them in afterwards. guys so obviously I'm not on the job site now uh, but I realized when I put the footage together that I did a terrible job of explaining to you what I was gonna be doing for the rest of the day so I stopped off on that one wall and then I continued on another shower in the same project just so that the following day I could be as efficient as possible so now we're picking up on that wall again and we're gonna finish that install so we're gonna continue on with this and then we're gonna move over to that other shower and start on those walls uh, so we're going to jump right into it and get it finished. Okay guys, so you'll have to forgive me. I mean, it's only my second video, so I'm still getting used to uh, videoing all of this content. So I forgot to kind of go over everything with you guys at the end of the project and go over the main things. So real quick then, much like a floor, you want to make sure that your lines are checked properly, that you've measured out your pieces properly, so that things are going to look good as the tile goes up. One of the major things that is kind of very critical to walls versus a floor is making sure that that first row is absolutely level, bang on level. Uh, that'll make your install a lot easier. 
and using your leveling clips properly, uh, using the right cement, and yeah, you should have a fairly simple time then. So thanks again, guys, for watching. Um, I, again, I apologize for the kind of choppiness of this video, uh, but I really wanted to show you what uh, a wall install is like. So if you can, please like and subscribe to my channel and like the video. Please comment um, if you have any comments or you have any questions. You can also reach out to me on Instagram and I will try and get back to you as soon as possible. Um, and if you guys have anything for future videos, any suggestions, please let me know. I'll be happy to accept that and keep it in mind for upcoming videos. I should have another video coming up next week and I will update you guys on my Instagram as to what that'll be. But yeah, thanks again guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope, uh, hope you guys all enjoy the rest of your week and your weekend. All right, thanks guys.